If you are editing with us in DaVinci Resolve, you already understand its immense power. However, many editors overlook the built-in effects that can streamline their workflow. Those effects not only simplify the editing process, but also make it easier to replicate and customize elements. Personally, I found those effects are more efficient on your computer compared to other methods. In this guide, I will show essential built-in in DaVinci Resolve effects that I use in every project. I will show you how to customize them for quick access. Ok, so if you don't see the effect panels, just go all the way left and up, click on it and now the effect panel is visible. The effects available will depend on whatever you are using, the free version or the paid studio version. However, all the effects I will discuss are available in the free version, so no need to worry. Let's start with one of my favorite and most frequently used effects, push. You can find this under a video transition category in the motion drop down menu. Although it's technically a transition, I primarily use it to save time on repetitive keyframing. So let's do this effect. First thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to place our black video. Then we're adding the title on top of our video. We can customize it by clicking on it and editing the text, font, color and size. I will speed up this process. Let's add our transition now. Just go in video transition and scroll down to motion, select the push transition and drag it to our clip. Double click on the transition and you can change the duration to 0.5. To edit this just go in effects or choose transition. I'm typically setting it up to 12 frames, that's what's worked for me. And also start from left by default. Choose is in and out and we can make a motion blur. I'm always setting up to maximum. After customizing the transition, I copy it using command plus C. Select the edge of the title clip to highlight it in green and paste the transition with command V. This way both the background and the title have the same push effect without any additional keyframing. You can easily copy and paste this effect to the other clips in your timeline, making quick adjustment as needed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, just press like and subscribe for more content like this.